project viewer update going out even as we speak. Uh, I, we have, we've had a whole series of EAP viewer updates and maybe the next one will be a, a release candidate. We're getting really close. Uh, there are a bunch of things in the in the background, um, and the current release candidates uh, are a maintenance viewer and the estate management improvements and the um, and the, the bug splat viewer, which hopefully at least one of those is on its last pass so we'll have a new default viewer next week. Um, I am not prepared to bet at the moment which one it will be. Um, but we'll get something un unstuck, I hope. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, spending it on other things, Noreen. Um, so uh, that's all proceeding. Uh, and um, the NAT is busy compiling everything that builds a viewer uh, with Visual Studio 2017. Uh, he's making quite a bit of progress on that. Um, uh, although I, uh, he's taking next week off, so I think it's next week. So there, there'll be a little bit of a pause on that project, uh, but moving along. And uh, those are the, that's the, that's the usual viewer rundown. Um, we have we have a few folks here to get updates on projects and deal with any questions or issues that you've got. Ryder, uh, for anybody got anything on EAP, the environment stuff? That's been in a bigger RC this week, right? On uh, the simulus. Yes. Blue Steel and La Tigra. Yeah. So it's beginning to beginning to touch more of the grid uh, at this point. Um, I, that, won't, that won't be promoted next week. We have a different fix that has to get wider exposure, uh, but uh, shouldn't be far behind. Um, and then Aura came by to talk to us about the UDP message deprecations, I think it was. Were you there, or where did you go? Oh, she's having voice problems. I have to do it in text here. Thank you, Blizzy. Uh, while we're waiting for Aura to type, Veer, do you have any other uh, news to share with us? Uh, not that I can think of. I think you've, you've pretty much covered all the things that are getting close to release. Um, I think you covered the uh, Love Me Render uh, Retina stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, that one well, is that one is getting pretty close. There's just one graphics glitch left that uh, we're trying to get tracked down, and then I think that should be uh, ready to go out. So that's uh, you know definitely a contender at this point. Yeah, we're getting <laughs> we have a lot of things that are contenders. So it's um, that's why I'm saying it. I'm not going to predict which ones uh, we're going to end up deciding to promote next week. Uh, it'll be kind of a race. Uh, so, I can fight it out. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, gee, I got I got all kinds of people here. Grumpy showed up today. Yeah, that's. <laughs> That's the that's that's the way the process is supposed to work. We get lots of irons in the fire, and the hottest one wins. 
Um, so, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, and let's see. We're. Um, I think that's. I think that's the big news at this point. Any. <laughs> any any issues that you all want to raise? Sorry about the difficulties last weekend. It was, believe me, it was rougher on uh, our team than it was on the users. And we have a team of people working to address the problems that uh, contributed to it. So we'll, <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. We haven't even finished the, the last pieces of the make sure we completely understand what went on. But we're close enough that we're beginning to be able to plan how we're going to respond to it. So. Oh no! It was there were inventory problems on what mostly on Saturday. I don't know what attaching to your HUD means. Oh, uh, you mean just appearing at random spots on the screen as opposed to where they're supposed to be? Yeah, OK. That's caused by, we, we, we understand what that is. I think um, we think we do. That's, if I'm not mistaken, that's caused by the um, the uh, object for the, you get the object update for the attachment before getting the data it needs to know where to attach it, and so it just ends up in a kind of default location. Um, it should always fix itself, uh, but uh, we'll, you know, using the term, using the word always is, is hazardous. Um, uh, it's interesting. I don't know why that would be in any way related to whether or not they're jelly dolled. Um, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, there is a is is not a good identifier because the main team reuses those repositories. They've had them on a rotating schedule, little rotating animals. It shouldn't matter. It couldn't be. It shouldn't matter that they're textures. It's because it's the attach points that are, that it doesn't have yet. Yeah. No, I don't know. Um. Uh, like I said, that we we see that issue, or I think it can happen on almost any viewer, but it's uh, it's not there. So, um, yeah, 
that that makes sense, Naren, because that, that that it would happen more often when there are a lot of complex avatars around, because the likelihood of losing uh, UEP messages goes way up, and there are a lot more of them when there are more avatars around. Uh, I have I have my jelly doll settings set pretty strictly too. Um, although this crowd is unusually good today, uh, I can see most of you. The EAP assets in the library is the oh. You probably don't have the change that causes us to ignore asset types it doesn't understand in inventory. Uh, Vera may be able to help you find that. We, or Ryder, I think it was, I think Ryder actually did that fix because uh, we introduced some new asset types or new, you know, inventory object types. Yeah, it was throwing a, uh, it throws a warning for each one that it doesn't understand and it should probably do that once. Yeah, right. Um, all landmark assets getting fetched twice during login. Um, yeah, I noticed. That, I just noticed that just the other day when I was looking at a, an entirely unrelated problem that started started seeing that. Um, it's something I'd love to look into. Cool, Kitty. I'd love to love to see that. The the Linden Lab has detected degraded performance is a result of you're not getting enough of the UDP messages acknowledged, and that can be caused because, you, for example, your router is overloaded by whatever else is going on. It doesn't matter what the something else is, and it starts dropping lots of your responses, your UDP responses. And so the server starts seeing that it's having to retransmit too much stuff and says, well, it's, it's not worth it to leave this person around. Um, if you have a lot of landmarks, that certainly, as Kitty says, makes for a lot of traffic. Um, no, it's it's not a reasonable fix, but it's it might be an um, a semi reasonable workaround. We are moving away from UDP for everything that we can, but that doesn't. But there's a lot of stuff for which UDP is exactly the right choice. So. Um, For all the things that involve stuff like movement, uh, obviously speech, um, things that if if the if it's better to get a newer version of the message than it is to retransmit the old message that you lost, then UDP is the right choice. Um, 
if you use TCP for things like that, then you waste time resending information that's already out of date uh, because the lower level protocol is doing that and you can't keep it from doing it. Um, so um, things like object updates where what you want is the latest available information, um, that's uh, UDP is clearly the right choice. Um, yeah, sometimes it's the region you're on that's the that's the problem. I've got a couple of updates. Um, one is about uh, release notes. Um, and that is just uh, full of good news. Uh, we're going to use another system for release notes. Uh, uh, the ponies in the mail, Worley, you still didn't get it? Um, uh, yeah, so the new platform that we're using for release notes is wonderful, and uh, oh, we can't wait to put them out there. Uh, however, um, we would need Whirly to use Whirly system for release notes, um, I, and I don't think she is repeatable. Um, but it's great and uh, easy and uh, logical and like just makes sense and looks good, and I can't wait. Uh, to actually uh, start using it, I think the next few of release switch us over to that. Uh, if you do see weird issues with them, let us know. Uh, but they won't be on the wiki anymore. They'll be yeah, on a won't be on separate. The, wiki anymore. The, the the ones that are on the wiki now will stay there. We're not going to attempt to convert them, so we'll have a link back to old release notes, but. Um, starting with as soon as we activate that system, all the release notes will happen on a on a new website. Um, yeah. Uh, once uh, you take a look at it, uh, I'll I'll look into how that's managed on our end. Um, and. Um, the other thing is about profiles. We kind of talked about this uh, a little bit already, at least once, um, <laughs> publicly. Uh, profiles uh, as they exist today uh, are an app uh, that includes both the web profile itself and the profile feed and then all those other features that no one uses. The profile feed is part of the profiles app, though. Um, the, there's some possibility that a looming upgrade to the underlying system uh, may break them a bit. Uh, so we're using this opportunity to move back to viewer-based profiles and pretend we never made this weird decision uh, in the past. Um, that, I know, right? Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that still leaves us the problem of the profile feed, because that is a popular feature. Um, yeah, I, I was totally expecting you guys to say, oh no, keep the web profiles, they're wonderful, which is totally why all the third-party viewers not. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, so we may see some issues with the profile feed. We're trying to uh, figure out the best way to preserve it going forward. Um, kind of the worst case scenario will be that we'll keep the existing data and 
uh, figure out some way to access it, but it will no longer work. Uh, and that is the worst case. That's not what we're hoping to achieve. Uh, we're hoping to get it functional again. Um, yeah, I think there will be, and we don't want to lose the feed. Uh, we want to make the feed more. Um, but uh, if, you know, the, the worst case scenario is that it will be frozen in time. Um, this is still a developing uh, situation, so once we get this figured out, uh, you'll start seeing updates in the viewer. And uh, tell me if you have... So the that's what I'm saying. I think that uh, snapshots, for example, uh, in the feed will be preserved. We'll figure out some way to, to keep this data and make it accessible, uh, but perhaps only in a read. Uh, we're working through that, Kitty. Uh, the in-viewer profile feed would still have to be um, using the back-end profile feed app, uh, which is subject to the same uh, upgrade uncertainty. I, I fear figuring out what that one thing is. The, uh, the big dilemma we always face is that most Second Life users only care about one thing and no ten of them are the same. Actually, there's uh, now an internal company's law of three to five thousand. Uh, which is that uh, at most three to five thousand uh, use any given feature, and uh, at most three to five thousand people want things to be a particular way. See, what you're telling me, Worley, though, is that these things are only useful for functionality that they weren't intended to. <laughs> for working around bugs and other things. Yeah, that's um, hardly a good argument in their favor. Trust me, I, I won't either, Worley. Um, in fact, I think every conversation we've had about profiles in the last five years was prefaced by me saying how much I hate profiles. I, I can confirm that that's true, actually. <laughs> Jeez. I really hate profiles. <laughs> Yeah, so we we may end up with some some reversions to whatever was old in the process. We'll we'll see. Um. However, as we're working through this, uh, we're probably going to see a bunch of new bugs, and uh, people will possibly freak out. Uh, 
uh, I think, I suspect that Worley did the environment on this sim. She usually does. Actually, I'm in the I'm in the bug splat viewer at the moment. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, missing group notices. No, other than the fact that um, we are trying to track that down. Uh, but we've had we've had some interrupts on that project that that have uh, have have slowed it down a little bit. Wow, Niran, that took a while. <laughs> I, I didn't realize it would be quite this fast. Uh, oh, oh yes, the approach of rebuilding a system instead of tracking down a bug is always so effective. Well, it's it's always tempting, uh, but in this in this particular case, uh, I can assure you that. That's not a system you want to try to even write down the requirements for, much less re-implement from scratch. Um, yeah. So uh, we'll we'll try to we'll try to figure that out. Um, we've been getting some good testing help from uh, a couple of outside people on that actually. Um, but uh, no, nothing definitive yet. Any other main topics, questions, comments, complaints, the usual stuff? Compliments work too. That's good. Um, yeah, or is Having trouble connecting properly. Only thing I can say, Oz, is that I've noticed that there's not been very many or any voice issues whenever I've been logging in and attending discussions and things. So whatever y'all did, the last voice fix seems to be working perfect. Uh, well, I'm glad to hear that. Um, we we upgraded the the whole server side um, in right right over the holidays actually, um, and uh, that's good. I haven't seen the latest stats on that. I I forgot to get them this month. Um, we uh, there is still an outstanding bug with buying voice morphs. The you know the uh, the, the tricky voices, um, we're working on that. Um, 
those, that didn't survive the transition. No, we can't get rid of them anymore. See Grumpity's Law, and there are three to 5,000 people who love them. Uh, Veer? We were going to help with uh, making an animation exporter for the Poser project. Yeah, we were. I've got that in my pile, but unfortunately it's kind of gotten pushed under some other things, so I uh, don't have any recent update on that. I've been I've been piling a lot of work onto Veer's plate lately, so it's... Uh... Nat's been looking at that a bit, too, and he's also uh, notably busy these days. Yeah. We all are. Um, you know, in addition to everything else we're doing that you can see where we've got a lot of our engineering time being consumed by moving or getting ready to move things to the cloud and that's consuming some of our, some of our resources and is hopefully almost entirely invisible to the rest of you. Um, but uh, it does make some of the other stuff a little more challenging to get done quickly. Oh, cool. Thanks, Beck. I'm sure we'll talk about that the next uh, feature triage. Yeah, so uh, note Aura's comment in text. Um, check your code, please, to see if our removing that is going to cause a problem. And... Go ahead, Amy. The Second Life support multi-threaded technology. Um, yes, but not for everything. Not for as much as we'd like it to, in fact. It does for some things, both in the viewer and in the, in the simulator. In the viewer, we've been making more use of 
uh, a, a lighter weight mechanism than than full blown threads, but uh, it's easier to program. Um, I think back that that. Uh, that that simulator release isn't out yet, but when it is, we can let you know. Yeah, those new controls are very cool. Logarithmic scaling and everything. It's really neat. You know the new topics today? Do we get to start the weekend early? Okay, thanks for coming. Hopefully by next time we will have done a new viewer release or two and you'll all be busy merging. Thanks everybody. <laughs>